My name is Matthew. I'm here in Mallorca to show you around this 2023 Blue Game BGX 63, the latest exclusive listing from Ancaster International Boat Sales. We're going to start our tour here on one of the standout features of the BGX 63, which is this large open beach club, the aft of the boat. This is a perfect place to set up for water toys, seating, whatever you want. One of the features of this beach club is this fantastic three quarter length bathing platform, which is hydraulic. So it will drop down into the water. It's a great way to launch your tender. On this particular boat, the owner has a Williams 325, which is stored on the bathing platform here. Over this side, we've got the passerelle. It's a pantograph step passerelle, so it will lift up to get you onto the dock drop down to come back onto the boat after being in the sea. We also have a crane under this molding here, which has got a 500 kilo limit, which is another way of launching the boat or tender or any toys you've got into the water. Over here to the port side, we have a large barbecue grill galley area with a sliding top, which opens up, which just allows you to maintain worktop space while having access to the grill, the sink. Under here we have ice maker, refrigerator and storage space for a bin. Moving forwards, we've got this lovely sliding door section which leads down into this lower saloon. These doors will open fully as we've got them here or fully closed. There is also a blind that comes down to give privacy for this area here. So let's go down and take a look at the lower saloon. This lower saloon is a perfect place for relaxing when you want to get away from the sun. You have large windows either side, and as the saloon is on the water level, you feel very, very connected, and the view aft is fantastic. You have a freestanding sofa. Under here, you have a drop-down television. Over this side, we have storage, a refrigerator, access to the owner's cabin through this door here, and these stairs lead up to the upper saloon and galley. So let's take a look through at the owner's cabins. This is the owner's suite. It's a very nicely appointed cabin, full beam, lots of light from these huge windows either side. You're also nicely connected to the sea as it's at the sea level. You have a large king size bed. There's a huge amount of storage underneath there. There's also storage behind these doors here, which is a cupboard. And then there is full length storage in this wardrobe here. Just over to this side, we have a ensuite with a lovely big shower with a rain head shower attachment. And behind here is one of the guest cabins and a recessed television here. And now let's go and take a look at the guest cabins. Here we have one of the guest cabins. You have crossover bunks here. Behind these doors, storage. The door just to my left hand side takes you through to the owner's cabin, which can be locked from the owner's cabin side to give you some privacy. And over here, we have access to the toilet and shower facilities, which also will act as a day head for this boat. As we come out of this twin guest cabin, you have access here to the toilet and shower, which I showed you earlier. To the left-hand side, we have stairs that lead to the helm and upper saloon. And just behind this door here, you have a full-size washer dryer. Let's go further forwards and take a look at the VIP guest. Here we are in the guest VIP suite, which is another very nicely appointed cabin. Lots of natural light through these large port windows, large bed with storage underneath, and you have a very, very good size en suite just to my left here. Just behind me here, we have a full length wardrobe, drawers, and a recessed flat screen television. Overall, this is yet another fantastic cabin on this boat. So now we've had a look at the guest cabins, we'll take these forward steps up to the helm and saloon. The helm position on the Blue Game 63 is on the center line of the boat. You've got superb visibility all the way around with lots of glass. It's got a reverse angled screen which cuts the glare down on the helm position. From these screens, which are the upgraded versions, so they're the, the larger screens, from those screens you can control quite a lot of functionality of the boat. Air conditioning, interior lights, exterior lights, sea keeper, as well as your usual engine information, GPS, that sort of thing. The boat comes with IPS 1200 engines, 
The IPS system means that you can use this joystick here to maneuver the boat any way you please, really. Uh, if you were to twist the joystick, it will spin its own axis, push it sideways, the boat will crab sideways. Highly, highly maneuverable. You can feel the quality of this helm here. I think you can, you can see this as a, a San Lorenzo product. You've got a very nice stainless steel wheel with rubber backing. It just, everything just feels very substantial and very high quality. Proportional bow thruster, carbon fiber effect on the seating and the, and the upper helm here. This boat also has a sunroof above the helm, which can be controlled through the screen here. The other great thing about this helm position is this side access door. Fantastic if you need to just jump off this helm seat here, check where you are and that kind of thing. Also gives some great ventilation through the boat. Just next to the helm, we've got the galley, which comes with a good size freezer, refrigerator, oven, and induction hob. Under the helm seat here, you have a wine fridge. So for those really hot days, if you want to dine inside the boat, this is where you would do it. You've got these lovely big windows either side, plenty of natural light. It's a lovely position next to the grill. You have got a dining area outside as well, so it's all nicely connected with a lovely flow. If you want to just sit down and watch television, you have the option to do that up here as well with a television which will drop down from the ceiling here above the helm. So this is one of the four really lovely outside spaces on this boat, the upper cockpit or outside dining area. You've got a lovely big sofa. It's nicely covered with this sun awning just above us here. You've also got ladders up to the sun pad above. Also, you have this wonderful sliding door that just enables you to close this area off. When it's fully open, it extends the external space inside. So you get this inside outside feeling. It's a really lovely place to be. Either side of this external dining area, we've got two really good size side decks, very nice and wide, very substantial handrails. So we also have the IPS controls here, just tucked away. You have the joystick, your variable brow thruster controls here. From this position, you've got a great line of sight straight to the end of the bathing platform. You can see all the way along it, so it's really good sight. This upper sun pad area is fantastic if you want to do a bit of sunbathing away from the hustle and bustle in the rest of the boat. Fantastic views all the way around, comfortable place to sit and catch some rays. Now let's head back down, check out the side decks and the bow seating area. Here we are on the port side side decks. As you can see, extremely wide, very substantial. You also have this gate to the side, which is a really great feature. Now let's take a look forwards at the forward seating area. The bow seating area is another fantastic sociable space. You have this large sun pad area, which will also, with maneuvering these weighted backrests, allow you to turn this into seating, sunbathing, whatever you want. The two tables either side will both drop down. You can put cushions on the top, make it into a much larger sun pad. You have a refrigerator up here as well. So this boat is equipped with the Fusion sound system. There are speakers throughout the boat. Control panel right here for this bow area. It's a fantastic system for a boat of this size. So just forward here, we've got access to the anchor winches and mooring bits and pieces. And down here, we have access to a very nicely appointed crew cabin. This particular crew cabin has got twin bunks, toilet and shower. It's just a nice self-contained area for the crew on the bow of the boat. Okay, so that's the bow area. Let's go and check out the engine room. We're back now on the aft of the boat where we've got this large engine room hatch, which can be opened just by pressing this button here. It's on an electric mechanism, provides really great access. We've got two IPS 1200 engines, which are 900 horsepower each. That will give you a top speed of 30 knots, cruising speed of 27. The fuel tanks, which are set further forward in the boat, 3000 liters. Over here to port, we've got the generator, which is 18 kVA. You have the sea strainers just below my feet here, access to the pods just slightly further aft. The batteries are up this side as well. It's nicely insulated. You can see all the insulation here on the hatch, so the boat is very quiet when she's underway. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation of this 2023 Blue Game BGX 63. If you require any further information, please don't hesitate to get in touch with Ancaster International Boat Sales.